Well, with COVID spreading throughout the state, the most recent county recommendation is cover your face. The Mesa County Public Health Department posted, hosted today's community briefing and announced the county is now experiencing community spread of COVID-19. Carrie X5 Shelby Rocho was at that briefing and joins us now with the latest. She's live. Shelby. Thank you, Katrin. Mesa County Public Health says it has at least five cases of COVID with unknown origin. And today, they made its strongest plea yet to community members to follow public health guidance. We have five, at least five um, cases that that we do not know the source for. The health department announces Mesa County is experiencing sustained community spread, which means for each positive individual we know about and include in our reporting, it's likely there are many more that we don't know about. Up until now, the county has seen just one or two cases per day since March 14th. As of two days ago, our average daily count has increased with the likelihood that it, it will continue to increase. This presents a potential problem. The more unknown infections we have, the greater the problem and the greater the potential to put excess strain on our health care system. Because St. Mary's has made preparations to expand and continue to care for COVID patients, area hospitals are stepping up in other ways. The state of Colorado and the federal government have changed some of the rules to allow critical access hospitals such as ours to expand and respond to the pandemic as needed. Colorado Canyons Hospital and Medical Center has increased its capacity from 25 to 51 beds. In addition to that, we have reopened the third floor of our, uh, our old nursing home building and we are able to take an additional 60 patients there to increase our bed capacity. Uh, to 110 beds. And city employees are turning up the heat. And we're starting to talk about the wearing of the cloth mask. I have mine here today. Masks are encouraged whenever in public. The cloth mask is meant to protect others from those of us who may be infected but have no symptoms or mild symptoms. Providing protection even during the incubation period. Considering there are usually about five days between when a person contracts the illness and when they show symptoms, a single infected person can develop into 200 infected people in a month. Now, in order to stop the spread of the virus, we have to wash or sanitize our hands, keep high traffic surfaces clean, practice social distancing, avoid crowds, and when out, wear a mask. First on the Western Slope and live from my patio, Shelby Bracho for KREX 5 News. Back to you, Katrin.